That's one of the best anxiety tools I've ever come across. I'm freaking out, man. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here. Today, I want to review this Fenibit. This is a supplement, or I'm not really sure how to label it, but I'm going to call it a supplement that I've wanted to review for a long time. People have told me this is their favorite supplement ever. And after lots and lots and lots of testing, I've kind of fine tuned the pros and the cons of this supplement. I might not be able to monetize this video because I'm not really sure how Fenibit is labeled. Some people might consider it a designer drug. I'm not too sure. This was purchased legally. I feel it's very safe. It's kind of like the only thing that I feel found that really lasts a long time. I think it's prescribed in Russia for anti-anxiety. I could totally see why. Oftentimes people combined it with 100 milligrams of caffeine. I mean, I usually drink caffeine almost all the time. So when I do take it, I will have had some caffeine. To me, I find that this really is best to be taken midday because it has such a long half-life that if you take a lot at night, you might feel a little bit in the morning, you might feel a little drowsiness. But if you take a decent amount in the middle of the day, the rest of your day is really relaxing and then all of your sleep is relaxing too. So usually I find about midday seems to work the best for me. Some people take it for sleep. Certain doses can cause drowsiness slash alertness. People say that they feel alert while taking this. Not really for me. This is definitely a more drowsy, tiring thing. You know, there's several times I've taken it and I've definitely felt way more tired way sooner and just had to go knock out and go to sleep. Everyone recommends not taking it every day. as what everyone said. I don't like taking it for fun. I know a lot of people do take it for fun. I can have fun on certain things. Every time that I've taken it recreation, or taking it every few days, I just don't enjoy it. I find the longer that I don't take it, the more effective that it is, and the more anxious I am, the more effective that it is. When I'm just really stressed out and I have to go do something and I'm just high energy, it is the absolute best thing. Like I can think of two times in the last few months where I'm just at my wits end, I gotta keep doing stuff, I really don't have anybody to talk to, I, you know, everything's just crashing down and I gotta keep going, I take it and I could just count on a nice, smooth evening. Really, really enjoyed this stuff. Again, the more anxious I am, the more I wait, the better it is. That's probably the same with any sort of supplement, but it's 100% with Fenibit. I would just wait as long as you can until you feel anxious and then take it. Probably no more than once a week. That's just how I'd use it personally. I don't really get too much of a rebound or a hangover effect. People talk about that because it lasts so long. And a lot of times if you take a downer, once it goes away, you'll feel up. If you take an upper, once it goes away, you'll feel down. I don't really get that too much with this, especially off one dose. That's one of the best anxiety tools I've ever come across. I actually like it a little more than Xanax because it lasts so long. It's like with Xanax, you could take it and then like if you're still messed up in the head or you think in the wrong way, two or three hours, of Xanax is going to be gone. With this, you take it and you're just chilling for a long, long, long time and I really, really enjoyed it. You do not want to take a big dose when you have a lot to do. That wouldn't be very good and you don't want to take it every day. I mean, I guess maybe you'd get addicting. I don't know. I don't really enjoy it taking it every day or every other couple of days. Every time I've tried that, I just really didn't enjoy it. When I take it when I'm not anxious, you could kind of get in this state where you, you want to do something fun, but the Fenibit just makes you not want to do anything. That does happen every now and again, but mainly when I'm just taking it just to take it. If I take it with anxiety, I mean, it's literally like the perfect counterpart, at least for me. I can't think of almost anything that would work better than Fenibit for me personally, for anxiety. Online, I found that it reduces stress anxiety. It promotes restful sleep. It's a social lubricant. It's used to treat alcohol addiction. It's good for mood enhancement. It impedes age-related neurodegeneration. So I guess it's got some good benefits besides that. Let me know what you think of Fenibit. Have you tried Fenibit? Have you not tried Fenibit? Again, the longer I wait, and the more anxiety I have, the better it is when I just take it for whenever. I actually don't really enjoy it too much. This one for me is just a straight anxiety aid. I'll be very interested to see what you think of Fenibit down below. Let me know if you've tried it. Have you not tried it? What are your doses? Do you try caffeine? Do you not try caffeine? I'd be very interested to see it down below. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.